Hi, everyone, uh, and thank you, Rob, for setting this up. Uh, I'm going to read a poem today called Resemblances. It's a new piece that I haven't worked all the kinks out of yet, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. So, Resemblances. <clears throat> I've decided I look like a ham radio, or if not a ham radio, someone controlling a dial, speaking into a microphone late at night, breathing, Who's out there, world? I also look like a crumbling medieval castle whose moat has been drained, a fancy pen that smudges, a petty dictator, even a toolbox of hummingbirds. To be merely a human being is to be a thimble of troubles, a music box of impulses, the one always hungry to be two. I aspire to be better at multiplying images. To be a meadow, or at least a person who would lay down in one, amongst clover, honeysuckle, and dragonflies. To be a glass skyscraper, a mirrored hive of productivity. To be the match and the candle lit. To be the river and the current pushing it forward. When I was a kid, I only wanted to be freckle-free, better at sports, to pass my grades, maybe kiss a girl or two. Now I want to be the whole earth, spinning and spinning in a centrifuge of language, to free words from their objects, no ideas but in essences, candy and cave paintings, the garden and the serpent within it. Once I wished to be a mountain, but instead grew up to be a forest a fountain of anxieties, a robot on call. Sometimes when it is particularly quiet, I even feel like an empty band shell, desperate for music, or a street market full of nothingness, or an angel who hates religious talk. Just follow my voice down the well, and you too can be an old hat full of sorrows, a watch abandoned in a drawer, a faded greeting card, its ancient message of love. Know what I mean? Sure you do. Thank you.